Now we're beginning a brand new topic area, and this is a favorite topic area for many students. And if that's the case for you, I want to encourage you to take a higher level developmental psychology class. This is also very useful for you if you plan to work with children, if you're going into education, or even if you're interested in working with the elderly. A developmental psychology studies changes in behavior, attitudes, and mind as a function of time. Essentially, a developmental psychologist studies the same things as any other psychologist studies, but they do it in a special way. They look at how there are changes in behavior, attitudes, and mind over time. And developmental psychologists are interested in both quantitative and qualitative changes. Quantitative changes are those that we can use numbers to describe. For instance, a child has a vocabulary of this size or a child begins to spend this much more time playing with friends than in the past. Qualitative changes are different. Here you're looking at differences in the quality of behavior. And later on, as an illustration, we're going to be talking about cognitive development in children. And we'll be talking about the idea that a child's cognitive abilities at one age are qualitatively different than the child's cognitive abilities at another age. So what aspects of behavior change over time, change developmentally? What aspects of behavior might be studied by a developmental psychologist? Well, there's physical development, cognitive development, social development, moral development, sexual development, and so on. Basically, any type of behavior that might be studied by a psychologist could be examined developmentally. In these lectures, we'll be talking about the first four that you can read in your textbook about additional characteristics that can change over time. First, however, we need to answer a very important question. What causes these developmental changes? The answer is genetic inheritance and environmental factors. You may already be familiar with the so-called nature-nurture controversy. We'll be talking about it here. But the answer to this question is definitely both genetic inheritance and environmental factors when you look at the development of any type of behavior.